everyone welcome back to my channel so for today's video we are going to be kind of going on a little adventure there's this place close to us called um, I think it's called Habitat for Humanity Restore and basically what they have is it's a secondhand store but it's not your typical secondhand store they actually have things that you can use for your home and we are on the hunt for some paint today um, and the good thing is that it's again at a very low price because it is secondhand and so I just kind of want us to take you guys to see this so let's just get on with the video okay so while this video is running and I'm going through the store and just kind of showing you the different items that they have available I just wanted to give you a little background information on this Habitat for Humanity Restore store so this store is selling new and salvaged building materials and home furnishings that are donated by individuals and businesses. It basically promotes, as it says on the website here, sustainability by diverting hundreds of tons of materials from the waste stream each year. The money that they do get from this Restore store is, does go to Habitat for Humanity to help build and rehabilitate houses in partnership with families in need. So the money that they are actually making from this store is going to a good purpose, which I'm super happy to help out with. A lot of stores, a lot of times, especially when you're thrifting and buying things secondhand, you don't really know where the money is going or the money, a good percentage of it is going towards you know, the CEO of the company or the people that are working in the company, and it's not really going to people that are really in need. Like Salvation Army has been known to do that kind of thing. So that's definitely a plus when it comes to this Habitat for Humanity Restore store. You can see here that there's quite a few items, all of, most of them, not all, but most of them are brand new, and they're things that you can use for your home. I think that this would also be a DIYer's dream because you can pretty much get a lot of things that you would need to make DIY stuff at a fraction of the price. And for us, we've actually been able to make quite a few purchases to kind of help spice up our home. And it has been helpful because the prices are just so low. Now, obviously you can't find everything here, but the items that they do have, they're definitely worthwhile and the price is great. So one of the things that we were able to purchase from here was a mirror, a nice good size mirror. Now it's not modern or anything, it's more on the traditional side, but it was only $10 and that kind of mirror I can easily see going for at least $50 in the store, brand new. There's a lot of little things that I've seen in this store too that I haven't seen in secondhand stores. So a lot of times you can find furniture and that kind of thing, which is what I'm showing at this point. But to find paint and doors and doorknobs and little signs um, for your house, like the numbers and that kind of thing, I don't really see that very often in thrift stores. So this is definitely your not your average Joe kind of secondhand store. And what you're going to see in this video as well is you're going to see just a lot of different things like windows and you'll see um, fans and that kind of thing and fans with lamps. You'll see just like I said, just overall a lot of different things that I have, haven't ever seen in a secondhand store, which is why I so wanted to share this with you guys. And I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of the video. One more thing that I forgot to mention is that, I mean, there's so many things that we were able to get from the store, but another thing that we were able to get that I think is important to share with you guys is we actually bought kind of like, not sliding doors, but foldable doors. Are those like a court, kind of like accordion doors? And we got them for $25 for two sets. So, basically like both each side so like the two sides were $25 for both sides and it also came with the tracks and the screws and that kind of thing 
that was really inexpensive. I believe that those kinds of doors run easy, 60, 70, maybe even more dollars. So that was a huge savings for us. We didn't end up getting anything because we couldn't find the paint that we were looking for. Um, but don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!